So basically, there's no income tax now in Tennessee as we know it. No uh, tax comes out of our paychecks to pay for public services, for state taxes. Federal taxes, yes. But what we would like to do is implement a graduated income tax so the people at the, the lowest 20% wouldn't pay anything in income tax. And then it would kind of go up from there. And so it would even out um, our tax structure. So people at the lowest 20% would still pay a higher portion of sales tax, but people at the top 1% and 4% would pay a greater amount in income tax. So that's my portion. And Bill has another illustration. Yeah. And in fact, <clears throat> I think it'd be good to show this. Yeah. You want to talk about this? Sure. Or yeah. This is another illustration of basically the same thing. If you have $15,000 in take home pay. Can you move over to the side a little bit? Sure, sorry. Then 53% is the amount of things that you pay on taxable things a year. That's the percentage of your income that goes to, that is eligible for taxation. Not counting food. Not counting food. Here's the food. Food is 21%. That would be 75%. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then this, this white portion is things that a person with 15000 a year would pay for that would not be taxed, like health care, houses, and savings. Everything else. Gas, automobiles, education, tools, <laughs> yep. tools bicycles, um, TV, and food, all taxable. On the other side here, 75% of someone with $100,000 is not eligible for taxes. This is ridiculous. There's only uh, what is it? 4% on, on food versus 21% for someone at the bottom. And then 21% would be tax would be eligible for taxable items like cars, computers, jewelry, electronics. But people at the top more or less put their money into attorney, brokers' fees, healthcare, education, um, savings, housing. So this is why we're here.